Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. And I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic, and I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh, I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I hated it. I hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Who? Me and who, Vic? <laughs> Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. A real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. What is? A biochip. It's basically a bomb. A fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V, 
It's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasak engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. It won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Talk to me. Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Fuck. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home.